Hello there, this is David from David Books and Comics, and today I thought I'd go through some of uh, some more of the ghost theme, and this is uh, Space Ghost, and Space Ghost was created by Hanna Barbera Cartoons uh, back in uh, 1967. The concept and look of the character was created by Alex Toth and uh, on the cover you see this is a cover by artist Steve Rood this came out by a company called Comico in 1987 and uh, this is a very good copy of uh, Space Ghost uh, number one it's a solo issue the interior art is in this case signed by the artist uh, Ken Stesey and um, the interior art is quite cartoony, much in line with the uh, much in line with uh, the uh, um, cartoon from Hanna Barbera from uh, from 1967. The series ran in 1967 for one season. On the cover is uh, Jan and Jace and Blip the monkey, the main characters, the main heroes of the story. And Space Ghost's uh, powers were all in this, in his wrist. That's Zorak, one of the arch villains of the um, cartoon series. And there you see Space Ghost. You never, uh, you never see him without a mask. Not in the original series, anyway. There you go. And there's the, I believe, the Creature King. Metallus. All of the villains show up in this this little one issue uh, uh, series from Comico. There you go, and that's pretty much how the look of the character at the end. So, yeah, Ken Stacy was the paint background. Did the backgrounds, I believe. That's what it says on the cover. Mark Evanier, Steve Rude, drawn by Steve Rude, painted. Yeah, the background paintings are by Ken Stacy. That's why he signed it. So this is December 1987. One of the first of the uh, published Hanna-Barbera stories came out in this uh, BLB, Big Little Book, called uh, Hanna-Barbera Space Ghost, The Sorceress of Cyber 3, an original uh, story. Written by this guy and featuring the main characters of the story and a new introduces a new villainous. There you go. So this came out in 19, this was published in 1968. 1967, Gold Key did a, some of the uh, TV superheroes. And uh, three issues of TV superheroes featuring um, some of the Hanna Barbera's uh, uh, cartoon superheroes, and then um, this came out in 1968. After that, and there was a solo issue of uh, Space Ghost and Gold Key, Space Ghost Number One. And I believe that's all that was published until this came out in 1987. And, uh, sorry, this one came out in 1968, and this one came out in 1987. And then in, uh, this is, uh, cover art is by, um, Alex Ross. Interior art inspired by Alex Ross is by, um, uh, Joe Kelly. And it features an original story. It's kind of an origin story of uh, Space Ghost. That's the way it's presented anyway. Where Space Ghost is put on trial and then convicted of something. And then uh, basically made a prisoner.
there's flashbacks and uh, some very uh, violent looking characters. Anyway, so this is Space Ghost number one. And another Alex Ross uh, cover. This is Space Ghost number two. And let's see if I can find the copyright date. Yeah, this came out in 2004 from DC Comics, which I believe still currently has the rights to Space Ghost. Yeah, this is fairly much in the spirit of an origin story of how uh, and probably the first time you see Space Ghost unmasked without his uh, costume. There's the Space Ghost ship. He was capable of um, turning invisible. There he is in his uh, costume. That's number two. This is Space Ghost number three, again, DC. This is a short six-issue series. The voice of Space Ghost and it taught, says here, the original Space Ghost design was by Alex Toad. The original concept of uh, Space Ghost and the original voice of Space Ghost was done by a guy named uh, Gary Owens. And this is uh, an appearance of Zorak, one of his arch villains. And I'll show you what he looked like. He did make some appearances on some TV series. Anyway, so there's uh, Alex Toth's original concept. And that's Gary Owens right there. Okay. So that's number three. Number four. And we'll do a short, a deep foray into... There's a nice splash page of Zorak, one of the arch villains. Double double page spread splash page. And there he gets to use his uh, his wrist beams. There's the Jan and Jace. And there he gets on his mask. Dons his helmet. Number four, number five, highly collectible number five, all because of the cards inside. Yeah, this is pretty, very much an origin story. Number five, and this is the last in the series. This is number six. Space Ghost number six. And the climactic battle. And this is Zorak. Between Zorak and Space Ghost. You see the ads very much in the days of the Lord of the Rings. Anyway. So there you go.
This was a uh, six-issue uh, limited series that came out in 19, 2004 and uh, featuring beautiful cover art by uh, Alex Ross, who often drew his superheroes larger than life. Um, super muscled uh, superheroes but just with beautiful background art, lots of uh, texture and, and almost a 3D effect in the way he drew his, uh, his uh, artwork. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this short little video, this short presentation foray into uh, Space Ghost. And, um, you did remember to give me that uh, thumbs up like thanks everyone for subscribing and uh, feel free to comment uh, on on this fortunately on youtube you're able to find some of the old space ghost cartoons along with many of the hanna barbera uh, superhero type cartoons like uh, shazam and uh, Birdman. Um, this used to be on on uh, Canadian television back in the 1970s um, and uh, used, used to be on on Saturdays. You get used to get to see uh, Space Ghost and uh, Birdman. All right, so if you uh, liked what you saw, remember what I said. G g Continue to uh, give me that uh, like. Thanks everyone for subscribing. And feel free to comment. Okay, thanks. Bye.